Okay, I just want to give a quick and uh, sloppy introduction to breadboards because some of you may have not used them before. Um, this is the breadboard that you should have received with your project box. Basically, well, let me go to the next slide. So you've got these rows on the top that are labeled as plus and minus. Typically you put your positive voltage in the plus, negative voltage in the minus, and then you have these 30 columns that go all across, and each of those rows are connected in the column. So all of these are connected. So if you look over here, this is a close-up. All these in column 1 are connected, all these in column 2 are connected, but they aren't connected to anything else. All these in column 3 are connected to all these rows that are labeled plus, and all these rows that are labeled minus are connected, but of course not to each other. Um, so from there, let me just assemble a quick circuit on the breadboard over here. So I'm just going to make a little LED light. First thing I'm going to hook up is a 9 volt. Uh, power supply, it's a 9 volt battery. So I've got my positive, negative black. I'll put the negative in the uh, top row, positive in the row just below it. So now this whole top row is ground, this whole second row is our positive voltage. Now I'm going to use this voltage to light up a LED. I'm just going to put the LED spanning across these two pieces of the breadboard. And LEDs, just keep in mind that the longer LED wire is typically the, uh, the wire that needs the positive voltage. So I'm just going right across, so you can see I go right from here to here. But I can't power this with 9 volts. It would be way too much for this LED. It would, might burn it out. So I'm going to put a trim pot. It's basically an adjustable resistor. I'm going to go right from the high voltage to one of these columns. Now to get the power to the LED, I'm going to have to go from that same column over to the column that the LED is in. And I'm going to have to connect it to ground, so I'm going to have to go from the short wire on the LED to ground, but you'll notice this will not turn on because these two grounds are not connected. So I need to go from this ground back down to here and I've turned on my light. This is a bit more complicated than you would need to make the circuit. I just wanted to show you some of the properties of the breadboard, but you can see as I adjust the trim pot, change the resistance, I alter the brightness of the LED. Let me just draw what that circuit would look like. So basically the circuit that we've done on that breadboard, we have our 9-volt uh, power supply, our battery. That goes up, it goes into a trim pot, which is just a resistor that's adjustable, so we can So we can, you know, when we move that uh, knob, we move the resistance, that, that wire back and forth, and it alters the resistance. Then it goes into a light emitting diode, and then back to ground. So a very simple circuit made on our breadboard there.